Hey guys, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would sit down and film another pregnancy update for baby number two. I am currently 29 weeks today. I wanted to film this at 28 weeks, but um, the week just got away from me. It's been really busy. Um, now I have some time to slow down. So currently I'm sitting on my pregnancy ball in Luca's room because he is napping and Brandon is napping on the couch. So this is where I'm filming. Hopefully neither of them wakes up for a little bit. This room is actually going to be Luca's and baby girl's room. So we have the crib over here and then Luca's toddler bed over here. Although he does not sleep the whole night in there. We're crossing our fingers, praying that we can get him to do that by the time she's here, but we'll see. And also I'm still working on redecorating in here. This is all from Luca's nursery. So I'm working on it in here and I kind of want to make it look a little different. Go for like a different vibe. So we'll see um, when I can get to that. So like I said, I'm 29 weeks today and I'm so out of breath lately these days. I feel like with, with pregnancy you have like good days like where you feel great and you have a lot of energy and you feel like you look great and then you have days where everything's opposite and you just don't have any motivation. You feel like you look like a whale and you just want to lay on the couch all day. I have a lot of those days, um, so that's why it's a little hard to film a lot. I'm so excited, 11 more weeks till baby girl's due date, which is crazy. I feel like this pregnancy has flown by so much faster than the one with Luca. And that leads to my first question, and it says, has this pregnancy gone by faster or slower than your last one? And I can 100% say it's gone by a lot faster. When I was pregnant with Luca, it's like everything was like a first for me. And so I would like check my app every single night, um, count down the days, and just like read all the information about pregnancies and babies and everything I needed to know. But now that I have gone through this before and I also have a toddler to look after, the weeks go by really fast and I don't check my app as much. That's been different, but it definitely has gone by fast. I feel like I just found out like two months ago, but really it was like six, seven months ago. So another question is differences from this pregnancy and Luca's. <sighs> you drink some water. <laughs> I feel like my symptoms um, are different than with Luca. With Luca, I had a lot of um, a lot of like back pain and like stretching pain in my belly like super tight and it would hurt and I was super super bloated well, towards the middle to the end I had super super swollen feet and hands and legs and my face was swollen um, I also had really really bad restless leg at night when I was going to bed so sleeping was really really hard when I was pregnant with Luca so for this pregnancy I have not been swollen at all cross my fingers I did stop wearing my wedding band and engagement ring because I didn't want to get it stuck because I did get it stuck when I was pregnant with Luca it was stuck on my fingers for like a week and I finally just yanked it off and it hurt so bad so I have not been swollen there might be some kind of difference because with Luca I was mostly pregnant during the summer like my biggest during the summer so maybe it was the heat I don't know also with Luca I did have acid reflux probably like 20 weeks to the end but um with baby girl I've had it for so long I just have it all day long heartburn and acid reflux and it really really sucks <laughs> she, so I'm hoping that that means she has a lot of hair if she doesn't that's fine too but um yeah, it's been really bad. I have tried everything. My midwife suggested drinking a shot of aloe vera juice. Um, it doesn't really help. Tums don't really help, but they are a good temporary solution. So that's what I've been doing. I also, with baby girl, I haven't had my restless leg until last week. Just started coming back. I do have my hot water bottle that I have to warm up and sleep with on my legs and that helps a lot. I also pulled out my pregnancy pillow and that has been a dream to sleep with. I sleep so much better. I've only used it the past like three or four nights but it's been great. I'm out of breath. <laughs> So I have been kept up late a couple nights because of the pregnancy, but I feel like overall I'm sleeping better than I did when I was pregnant with Luca. Oh, and I forgot to mention one of the other differences with Luca's and baby girl's is I was definitely more nauseous with baby girl. I never threw up or got sick, but I was I just remember feeling really, really sick in the beginning. I also can officially say that we are having a girl we found out nine weeks ago um, on my 20 week anatomy scan, which caught us all by surprise because I literally thought I was having another boy. <laughs> when I was actually praying, asking God to grow our family and for me to get pregnant again, I was specifically praying for a daughter, whether it had been this pregnancy or like a future pregnancy 
pregnancy, I have always dreamed of having a daughter and I'm so excited and God knew the desires of my heart and I'm so blessed and Brandon's actually really excited too. I thought he was gonna be a little disappointed but I'm pretty sure he's excited. Do you have any names picked out? And like I mentioned in my first pregnancy update, we are not announcing the name until she is born but we do have a name and a middle name so. That's super exciting. I love that we're keeping it a secret. It's just extra special. It's kind of nerve wracking because I'm like, is it a good name? I don't know, but I think it's a good name. And yeah, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> and then the last question I had is, is your birth plan the same as when you had Luca? So I didn't really have like a detailed birth plan with Luca. My only plan was to have him at the hospital and to try and be all natural, no epidural, no medication, and no form of induction. So praise the Lord. I did have a very, very awesome birth with Luca. Um, it was 13 hours long. Contractions started at midnight and I had him at 1.27 p.m. on that day. So all natural, no epidural, at the hospital. It was a dream come true, and I'm still thankful to this day, but it was the hardest, most intense thing I have ever had to do and ever gone through, but it was so worth it, and obviously I wanted to do it again. So with Baby Girl, our birth plan is just a little different. I hope that it goes similar to how Luca's was, but we are actually planning a home birth. So I'm praying and praying that everything falls into place like health-wise with um, me and with the baby, that we can have a successful and healthy home birth. So yeah, I'm due February 2nd of 2021, and who knows, they say second babies come quicker and faster and are easier, so we'll see. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not having super, super high expectations because I know that births can go all different kinds of ways. Um, I'm just praying for a healthy baby and a healthy delivery and for a home birth specifically. And so I didn't get too many questions, um, but that was all of them. I'm trying to think of anything else that I need to add into this video. I think that I'll show a few different pieces that I bought for baby girls and I didn't really buy much yet. I'm having a baby shower this Saturday after Thanksgiving, so I'm like holding off until I see what else I need after that. So first I want to show some stuff that I was gifted already. Um, of course, my best friend Megan said she had to be the first one to get baby girl um, clothes. So she got me some stuff from TJ Maxx that's super cute. The first is this little outfit. It has a little polka dot print on it and some ruffles. And it comes with the little headband that matches. And this is super cute. Cannot wait to put this on her. She also got me some little onesies. This is like a three pack. It comes with like a golden yellow one a polka dotted one, and then like a floral one. They're super cute. She also got me this two pack of headband bows, and these are also really cute. That's what those look like. And lastly, she got me this blanket that is extremely soft. Oh my gosh, I wanna sleep with this, and it's a super cute print as well. Something that was gifted to us from our registry is this little outfit it comes with the onesie pants and a hat so the pants are like pink stripes the onesie is floral and the hat matches the pants and super cute this is from target we also got gifted this boppy pillow cover from our amazon registry it's white and has this pretty floral print on it this is really cute i cannot wait for all things floral and all things girly. I went to Walmart the other week and got a few things as well for baby girl. I watched um, someone's video on YouTube and they said that Walmart has this really like soft, neutral, modern baby line. So I wanted to check it out. It's called Modern Moments and everything is so cheap um, and it feels like really good quality. So the first thing is I got this white um, like sleeper button up onesie and it's like the ribbed texture on it. They were super cheap guys, I can't find my receipt, but I think they were about like $5. And I got a gray one as well, this one's a little bit bigger. It's the same exact thing, the ribbed pattern. And then I got one of the onesies, which this was a little cheaper, I think it was like $3.50. And it has the ribbed pattern on it as well, super cute. I got a little pair of pink pants from that line as well. Um, they're kind of rolled up, but that's what they look like. These were super cheap, probably like $3. And lastly from Walmart, I got some headband bows, and these are a dollar each, and they're super soft, and they have all the kinds of colors you can think of. So I got three of them. I got a white one. 
I got this mauve purple color one and I got this like green seafoam green color and then lastly I went to TJ Maxx the other day and picked up this cute little outfit it is pink so cute floral ruffles comes with the matching headband I heard that these don't always fit their heads but I love the material of this it's kind of like a muslin soft material super cute so that is everything new that we got recently anyways I'm gonna do a bump shot and then end this video so that is what the bump is looking like for 29 weeks today thank you guys so much for following along with me if you have any video requests just leave them down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.